Hey guys, hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Welcome back to Prussia in EU4. Uh, this is the first recording of today, so forgive me if I'm a little bit off. Um, I had had some comments asking about my UI mod. Um, so Artemis has updated his UI mod, and it is definitely my preference. It is big, it is beautiful, everything is very clear to see. Um, so this is my preference for mods, and this is what the uh, my mod pack linked in my description is going to be using from now on. Um, now, I spoke with Artemis because there's a bunch of these, like, sort of meme buttons and stuff like that. And uh, I, I messaged him, I said, hey man, would you mind uploading a separate vis version without the memes and stuff, just for a little more um, you know, professional look to the mod? And he was like, yeah, sure. And so he did that. So we are using Artemis UI mod, uh, but we are done with quality. We are very beefy. Um, and uh, we are currently in a war against Austria to which was our war to dismantle HRE. So obviously we're done with that. Um, and so for a humiliate, I don't really need a humiliate, so to speak. So I'm tempted to actually just show strength on Austria, which likely won't happen because uh, England is in this war. So I probably have to not not worry about that so much, but this is okay. Um, how is England's navy? So England does not have his two heavies. So I said that I wasn't going to be able to land any men over there. And I think I might not, that might not be the case anymore, but we're, we're going to see what's going on here. I mean, he's got a lot of men still running around. So we just need to um, win these sieges and uh, see what we can do with that. Miltech is coming up. Oh, getting a tactics advantage on some people would be really good. Um, let's continue to give these forts over to Mazovia. 85 defensiveness. That is a uh, pretty good. Do a quick carpet siege over here. He won't attack me. Emil is a three-star general, so yeah, it would be to his detriment if he decided to attack. So Constance is also at war with these guys over here. <laughs> Austrian purge of heresy, really. Religious, offensive, diplomatic, economic—not super bad of idea choices. I I can't lie. I kind of agree with those choices. Nuremberg has entered our coalition. Oh no, what will I do? What will I do? Um, I will keep my war focus for now. Our economy is tip top shape. Um, I suppose I'll upgrade my forts. I'll upgrade that one as well. Um, let's upgrade his forts as well. There we go. Look at this. Let's go over to this province, put them on defensiveness because you can do edicts on your vassals nowadays. And look at that 78% defensiveness. 54 day siege days. <laughs> I can live with that. I love that. I love it so much. It's core up Dith Martian, of course. Yes, we've been uh, doing some other wars in here. So I'm likely going to have to attack into my coalition. And that's fine. I'm, uh, I'm not opposed to the idea. I got a bunch of claims on Cologne anyways. We don't have a truce with him. So this might be my chance to attack him. England wouldn't help him out. Um... Mm, yeah, I think we'll do this. Uh, we'll see how it goes because I have to obviously um, Whenever somebody you're attacking into a coalition More people are joining as well. Hmm Let's see here. Who's he allied to that I could attack that is not in my coalition Utrecht are you in my coalition Utrecht is Trier is all of his allies are in my coalition Holland is not actually could he be? He could be. He's got friendly relations, though. So I suppose what we do is we come in here and we get a spy network on him. This is good. this is a nice, easy way to break up coalitions, if you don't know. You attack somebody who's allied to one of the major members of the coalition. Oh, they're always, always over here hurting my prosperity in my capital state. You absolute pricks. I'm never going to have it again. Let's go with no edict over here. No edict, no edict, no edict. We don't need any of these. I'd rather have the money coming in. Since we switched our trade capital, though, we are in a much better spot. Um, so Austria... I could get some... Mm, we'll see. I mean, I'm okay with just letting Austria burn, to be honest with you. I'm not opposed to that idea at all. I gotta come up here and start wiping him out, because he's gonna siege down my vassals, which is gonna make me mad. Wipe out a couple of... Englishmen while we can, and uh, ideally, we can uh, actually head on up. You suck and I hate you, says Portugal. You bastards. Here we go. Wipe out that 10 stack of British. Ooh. 
I'll wait, and on the monthly tick, I'll actually take this. Look how cheap this tech is, dude. Innovative Ideas is so strong. We're taking it three years ahead of time for 300 and... I don't even care about the mill mana. I'd rather be ahead on tech. Look at this. I got a comment saying, how do you stay so ahead on tech? Innovative Ideas. Innovative Ideas, Innovative Ideas, Innovative Ideas. Uh, let's go for Fire Damage. Fire Damage is what's going to be uh, buttering our bread here. Come over here and uh, see if we can get a good fight with these Hungarians. Denmark is no longer a valid rival. You don't say. That uh, that sounds right. That sounds appropriate. Let's um, revoke our embargo on these guys. There we go. Now, if I can catch that uh, Hungarian stack here. I would like to. They're over here sieging down... Bremen's capital. Kind of annoying, but, uh, you know, we'll see what we can do here. That should be an easy stack wipe. Oh my goodness gracious. Rest in peace, these 436,000 men. Or 4,360 men. So. I just need to get a claim over here. Actually, I, I can't do that because I don't have a border on them. So I suppose we just piece this war out then. That's fine. I don't really need a humiliate. I can just take his money, right? That's fine with me. It's a lot of money. There we go. Switch back over to trade. Unrest is not an issue and people are leaving our coalition, which is great. Cologne actually left our coalition. So the question is, do I worry about a coalition anymore or do I just eat them? I can eat these guys, so I should. That's a lot of trade income coming up. Oh, just kidding. I have a truce with them until 83. Okay. Uh, well, I could full annex these guys. He's in my coalition still, but uh, most people in the coalition have left. Hmm... Not so sure. I think I'm going to annex on halt here. Everybody's leaving our coalition now, which is great. Let's recall you. Let's pick our next rival as well. We still need to make sure we're doing that. Uh, rival England, actually. Because we'll probably make our way over into the English Channel uh, as time goes on. So let's attack these guys now that they're no longer in my... Or nobody else is any more in my coalition. Oh, that's beautiful. Poland is his ally, though, huh? Oh, wait, no. We just got to wait on the monthly tick, I suppose. No, Poland is his ally. That's correct. That's fine. If that's the case, I will just head on over and uh, beat the tar out of Poland. Uh, they're pretty much even on who's got all the clay. Or who's got all the, the force limit, rather. But this is fine. Remember, my vassals are, are quite strong on their own. Look at this. 25,000 just between Mazovia and Burgundy. We have room to grow our uh, forces, or our, um, our, um, whatchamacallit, our sphere of influence, our sphere, if you're a Vicky person, heh, heh, heh. foreshadowing, Vicky content coming to the channel soon. Just peace out, Poland. Take all their money, why not? They got some separatists over here from Glissy Volhynia, which is cool. Those guys over there. No big deal. I will... Uh, no. I will improve relations with these guys. Okay. Let's uh, also... Scootage them. I can't annex them, correct? October. Very good. That's awesome. Poland is uh, good to peace out now. Transfer trade power. Let's try steer trade. I never use it, but I'm curious how much that will actually affect my economy. So I'd like to see them steering up this way. looks like they're steering into here, which is fine. Then we're steering up here. So I don't care. A nice long truce with them is preferred anyway. So it's fine with me. We've done, done coring up some clay. Convert it, of course. Let's get over here and get these guys off my vassal's forts because there's no reason for them to be on there. I'll take the mill mana. 
We're super far ahead. 16 years ahead on all techs. Isn't that crazy? All three of our techs. Do some dev exploitation because we have lots of admin dev that we can get money from. And then uh, you turn around and you spend that money on some buildings. Which will scale up better in the long term. Lots of manpower, please, and thank you. And I should probably build more units. I could definitely build a second army. So let's take a look. To be honest with you, are we on mil 13 already? We are. We're on mil 16. Whew. So definitely need to be getting rid of our cav. No, no reason to have them anymore. To be honest with you, do we have force march? We do have force march. Let's get over here. Hopefully we can get them before that 71 percenter. No, they're gonna, they're gonna get the tick sadly. That's okay. So we're gonna come in here. Hopefully before the monthly tick. Yep. There we go. Now we can just take the siege back real quick. It's already a 35 percenter anyway. So this is fine. Sadly, a couple of these guys are still in the coalition, so I won't be able to piece them out separately, but we're going to full annex him, which is fine. It should say coalition more as well. No, it does not. That's awesome. Well, hey, these guys weren't in the coalition. Oh, they are actually. I lied. Very good. Come on over here. So I will just get rid of the calf for now. Uh, and let's figure out. So our combat width is 29. So this is, this is uh, the way you do this. So you set it up to be... A couple more than what you have already and then 29 cannons so you have a full back row and then a little bit of extra just so you know you have some extra um men to go out that's gonna be super expensive so we may not keep all the cannons but uh, this is going to prevent a coalition and uh, that is very much quantity ideas at work because we're this big and we have a force limit of a hundred and what 131 thousand men that we can land that's uh pretty nuts to think about once the cannons come in that's gonna hurt our economy quite a bit all right cologne joined as well i actually missed that anyways let's get over there and just get them out a nice long truce with cologne is preferred and uh Get these guys out of the way just so they're not going to be taking a ton of attrition once they finally are built up oh yeah take take a look at that Ooh. we do have a ton of ships over here as well should have these guys protecting trade in lubeck head home at war of course so they don't get stack wiped for no reason i just want you guys to come over to cologne prestige is good yeah I wonder if I could diplo vassalize. Ah, they have uh, Thuringia. Oh, accidental snack wipe. You love to see it happen, folks. You love to see it happen. So we need to get our... Oh, we have our stab up. There's devastation in Brandenburg, huh? Because there's no fort here. Well, let's uh, remedy that. Actually, whenever I integrate Magdeburg, that will, that will switch that. So we're good. Corn. Piece them out. Um, let's go with some war reps. All your money and all your alliance with England. And I'll attack him in a few years when our truce is up because we have a lot of claims on him. And I'd like to take all of them, if at all possible. Trier's going to get handled. Let's come on down and siege down Württemberg. And I think we can probably speed five the rest of this war. No big deal. So I'll do a shift, shift, um, a shuffle split. If you guys are wondering what a shuffle split is, essentially what it is, is it is, so these two stacks, this is a 15 stack of cannons and this is a 31, 14 stack. But if you split the, if you select it, hit S to split it in half and then switch them out. So you have one from half of this stack coming over here and half of this stack coming over here. I'll take the admin mana. And there you go. 15, 15, 16, 14. So almost exactly the same stacks. It's just a really nice, easy way to uh, shuffle around your men. So quite useful. Just need to win some sieges here. Madribari. Yeah, I don't think so. We've lost the siege of Nuremberg. You sons of guns. Well, let's get another general over there and go siege back Nuremberg. Looks like we need to siege down Hessen as well. Let's uh, get those guys out of there. Let's piece these guys out. 
Again, more reps. Basically, I just want a nice long truce with them so they can't join a coalition against me. That's fine. Same with these guys over here in Strasbourg. Ooh, we got our first one. No, oh, just kidding. It's the last one. I was getting my timeline mixed up. Won the Siege of Nuremberg as well. So these guys are in a coalition against me. So this isn't going to work. Let's take all three of these. This is the move. Aggressive expansion is... Ugh, man. Well... I think we are definitely at the AE is just the number portion of uh, playing in the HRE. So let's just uh, embrace it. Embrace the suck. Even with permanent claims, man. So I assume... So let's get these guys full occupied then. So we can get a nice long truce with them. Mill tech cost. Yeah, maybe we'll use that before we, uh, you know, full annex that. Or before, by the time our tech will allow it. Lose the government reform. I don't care about that. Nice. Yes, please. It's always good to have our relations boosted up with our allies. Yeah. Here we go. Let's get Hess out of here. Force religion, war reps, trade power, or just all your money. There you go. Nice long truce. So they cannot join a coalition. I should have a couple of my lazy diplomats over here working on outraged countries. So it looks like they're all idle. I don't care about him. Yeah, I don't really need the extra mana, so I'll stick with a level one guy for now. Take all of his money. Not bad. Pour these guys all up, especially after we handle that there. Separatists sorted out. Now let's take a look at who do we have truces with and who don't we, so we can figure out, you know, what sort of coalition we'll be looking at here. So we don't have truce with like most of these guys over here. And I don't have a, have a CB on most of them as well. Yeah, so I guess we're just going to sit back and let our AE tick down a bit. And if we declare a war here, it will likely be a war to... Oh my gosh, a 5-5... Five, five. <laughs> if, um, if we do get into a war, it will likely be a war to squash a coalition before it fires. Because most of these people that I don't have truces with are going to be joining our coalition here. Where are we at here? Right here. We'll see. We will see. I never even switched over to war focus in that one, so that's hilarious. Let's um get a couple of manufactories in as well. Help out our economy. If you don't know, manufactories, the reason why they're useful is that they give you plus one goods produced, which uh, increases the amount of trade in that node. Trade is a very, very complex system in EU4. Uh, and so I can't really give you like a one-size-fits-all answer, but uh, the general rule of thumb is if you can build production, build production. It's the, it's It'll help you out in the long term. So, where are we at here? Oh yeah, it's going to take some time for that. Develop Konigsberg and have a university, aka a center for kids who can't read good. <laughs> So we'll just need to get the Konigsberg dev up to 30, which is easy, and then have a university. So that'll be eventually. And uh, need Ostfriesland, which is Wilhelmshaven, I believe. And then a merchant in Canton, which we'll be able to do eventually. A professional army, 50% professionalism. Well, I'm sure we're well on our way to that. So... Having as many men as we do currently drilling is only going to be helpful in the long term. So, truce with Hamburg is over, so I should probably do that before they join a coalition. Attack them. Now the coalition is going to start forming, guaranteed. <laughs> 
Yo, Bremen, get off that siege. So here's here's a nice little trick for you guys. If you have a vassal that is sieging down something, but you want to take the siege, just put them onto passive, wait a couple of days, they'll get off, and then you can have them go back to do their thing. I began the annexation process of them. They're scootaged as well. So if you look, these guys aren't actually in the war. So where did this 14 stat come from? Ooh, I missed them. Um, okay, well, this is fine. This 14 stack, so we're going to need to shuffle our men around a bit. So let's get over here. What I'm going to do with this 14 stack is I'm going to consolidate them. So we have a 37, 13 stack. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to have them conform to that template and get rid of these six units because we're not going to need them. Do I have enough force limit? I do. So that's good. Now we have two full back rows of cannons. That's uh, pretty nuts, actually. I will annex you. Coalition will likely continue to grow. Can I piece these guys out separately? I cannot. That's fine. There we go. It's a good core to have. Because that's going to give us even more trade here. It's already a part of a state. So we can get that grouped up there. So we're going from 35 up to 36. And we're making good money now. Even with all our cannons, we're still making good money. The more artillery you can land, the better. And uh, the larger our nation is, the better. Because it means we get more... Um, more... Um, let's get these guys over there. Uh, that attrition is, is fine. Get everything back to drilling. There we go. And see, our coalition is not reforming. Because we have 120,000 men. Plus we have... Ottomans as an ally. So the chances of it firing are like non-existent, which is awesome. So we need to get some claims up here, especially on the higher dev provinces. Obviously, he's got one and then two. And uh, he's not in my coalition, even though he could be. So I should probably just attack these guys as well. Clean up our borders as quickly as possible. Yep. So let's recall the guy spying on him. Attack for Lubeck. Send these guys in here with a general. Have these guys over here do this and that. And then these guys go back to drilling. And let's have our navy come over here and blockade them into oblivion. And win that siege ASAP. Our vassals should handle Hesse. And you can see, like, the, the, the roll has begun. We are rolling these guys. And let's upgrade our ships. No reason not to. Get our boys down there and get the other half. Down here to Oberhessen. Not bad, huh? We're going to full annex them. Coalition is going to go explosive. Oh, maybe not, actually. Looks like it's only... The only people joining who wouldn't have been in there before would be... Yeah, like Switzerland, Constanz, and Flanders. So, that's good. Since I have these guys full occupied, I'm going to piece them out for a maximum piece. Just to keep a truce nice and long with them. Plus, it yoinks some prestige from them. Not that I need it, but I don't want them to have it. That's that's the main thing. There we go. Core it all up. These guys over here. Let's actually have everybody head over. Let's find a province that's got the force limit for them. Okay, so we have the force limit over there. So let's shift these stacks over here. Everybody can have mill access. That's fine with me. Get those guys drilling their army. These guys grouped up, drilling their army. I don't care about that event a whole lot, to be honest with you. Yes, sir. Upgrade that there. And, uh, man, we're doing good. We're doing really good. So take a look at this. We have 62,000 units, 58,000 cannons in the field right now. We could take Miltech 11 years ahead of time. But rather than do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see, okay, where would it be the most cheap place to dev my land? Um, since I have admin and miltech or diplo, we're ahead on all of them. It's time to do some dev. So are our burgers loyal? They are. They're not as influential as I would like them. So what you do is you go summon a diet and it gives them an extra 5%. Marketplace in Ostjutland. That's fine. There's actually one building right now. So... 
pretty good uh and what that does is it gives us an extra 2.5 percent so then what you do is you find a um a place that is grasslands preferably and uh, you begin the process of devving them so we're gonna need to dev konigsberg so let's just do two clicks right there uh and then danzig and marienberg are both grasslands so let's dev those guys a bit as well oh yeah our max manpower is explosive right now each of these clicks is giving us half a thousand half of a thousand worth of manpower dev actually insane um also a nice little thing if you click on this it'll tell you how much you produce out of versus from the whole world so if you want to go into your ledger and you go to trade uh strategic goods and we sort by um alphabetized and uh, we go down to gems where are we at here gems 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 you can see balmanis produces um 14 0.4 percent of the world's gems i only produce eight um granted there's only this one province here so if we go, if we wanted to we could continue to dev this up once we get a um manufacturer here which is going to take admin 16 so we're not too far off from that uh we might be able to become the leading producer i will sink the rest of my ad my mi dip <sighs> diplo points in there is what i'm trying to say and uh might as well exploit a little bit of admin and you can see our max manpower has gone up i don't know what if it was topped up before but we're almost at the two we're gaining 2200 manpower per month per month coming in uh let's yoink that and then do that there what that does is that lowers our governing capacity as you can see we're getting really close to it um so looks like we're gonna have to build a couple of these buildings which is fine we'll start spamming those out as well uh, as long as we can stay under, or at least not too high over, we'll keep our militancy maxed out, which will keep us at this 125 dip discipline. And uh, yes, but that's a good place to call it. Our aggressive expansion is looking pretty gnarly, but uh, we're going to keep it rolling. We're going to keep expanding. We have a lot more growth to look forward to. Hope you guys are enjoying. I know I certainly am. If you are, please make sure you show your support by leaving a like, subscribe, ding the bell, all that fun stuff. If you want to check us out on Patreon and support there, it's linked in the description below as well as the discord and my twitter i also stream every day or not every day but multiple days every week over at twitch.tv slash chewy shoot plenty of fun content over there but that's all i got for you for today this is chewy shoot and i will catch you guys later hey you made it to the end of the video big special thanks to my top mace supporters on patreon drunk binary bloodbound mr mcflew devos sander angelic bouncer steve sprocket batman on deck m dressel r lawrence tharup the j baller blonde damon jacko r harvest corbett shankopotamus t jarden a vickman bargain glad natsuki harry amorado jay cutchell and winkler rj pilot stolier and many more